Guitars was named after my father. Uh, we've been in the neighborhood here in Amityville since 1969. We have a pizzeria that's been there for almost 40 years. And then uh, we decided to go a little bit upscale and we uh, ventured across the street. We took this store and we remodeled it into an upscale American-Italian restaurant. Italian-American is a combination, of course, of Italian foods and American foods. There's a certain line there that's blurred because there's really no such thing as Italian food. Every province has their own style of cooking, so it's more regional cooking than it is Italian cooking. Long Island could be considered a, another extension or a region of Italy, taking those Italian influences and making it our own, so it's almost Long Island Italian cooking. The menu was developed by taking all of our favorites, my favorites, the chef's favorites, things that we grew up with, steaks, lamb chops, a fish stew, uh, which is a bouillia base, or uh, aquabazza, which is uh, a dish that has all shellfish in it in a marinara sauce with a bucatini. We have certain Italian favorites where we uh, put a little twist on them, but at the same time, being American also. So you have influences of Italian, but also a huge influence of American. The name of the establishment is Vittorio's Restaurant and Wine Bar. We take great pride in selecting the labels to complement the food that's coming out of the kitchen. We uh, also offer tapas at the bar with pairings of wines for that particular dish. We have almost 80 labels offered by the glass and over 180 by the bottle. Uh, with great emphasis on California and Italy. We've been recognized by Wine Spectator for 06 and 07 for uh, an award of excellence in our wine menu. People should come here and not be intimidated by the selections of wines. They should experiment with, with uh, all the different kinds of wines that we offer, uh, which is one of the reasons why we offer so many by the glass, so people could experiment it with their foods. So if you're in a mood for a Barolo, if you're in a mood for a Cabernet, if you're in a mood for um, a Gewurztraminer, you don't have to buy a whole bottle. You could try a glass first. Victoria's Restaurant and Wine Bar. Uh, the name says it all.